I'm David Karp, the founder of Tumblr. Sure, you know, I mean, if you go back to the, uh, you know, 2004, 2005, when I had really started to think about Tumblr, um, it was something I really wanted, and it was at a time when you could be incredibly expressive on the web. You could you know, host video online for the first time. You could put big high-res photos on places like Flickr. Um, you could write as much as you wanted to on blogs. Um, but at the same time, you know, the technology was becoming incredibly capable. It was getting more and more separated. It was very hard to create one thing in one place that was you, that really represented you and your identity, uh, and that you could be proud of. And instead, we were getting little separate creative tools all over the place um, that gave us you know, a chance to present a little piece of ourselves. So Tumblr was really you know, something I wanted for me to make something online that was mine, that represented me, that was on my domain name. Uh, I bought davidslog.com years before I bought tumblr.com, actually. You know, my domain name, make it look exactly the way I wanted, and post my stuff there. It's the same stuff that I'm dreaming about these days. You know, ever since this community of creators showed up on Tumblr, they've been our mission. Empowering them to make their best work and get it in front of the audience they deserve. That's something that we've been uh, you know, hard at work at for, for six years now. That's not changing. Uh, what I'm really excited about now, one, obviously there's this you know, new uh, turn of events for Tumblr where we have, you know, we've always had great investors and partners. Now we have one of the, the biggest, most resourceful partners in the world that could help us go even further, even faster. There's that. But beyond that, the technology is the most capable that it's ever been. Now you've got this thing in your pocket with unbelievable computing power. You've got the next Samsung phone, uh, their big flagship phone, coming out with a, a Wacom tablet in it, right? I mean, unbelievable creative power in the device. It's connected to the internet. When you're done making the thing that looks great, you can put it out there on YouTube or Tumblr. You never ask anybody per for permission. You go out there, you build your own audience. You own that audience, you find that audience yourself, you earn that audience yourself. I think we've just started to scratch the surface of what small businesses are able to find and do on Tumblr. There's so much of what Tumblr is is a, a brand building platform. So when you think about these creators, they're building their reputation, their careers, their presence out there in the world, and their identity out there in the world, um, often from scratch. Some of them are taking whatever they've got and any audience they've got and using Tumblr to build that even further. Um, it's not impossible to imagine a brand new business that isn't on anybody's radar yet, using Tumblr to tell stories that inspire people to become customers, get people to appreciate their mission and their values. So again, I think we're at the beginnings of it, but there, there are starting to be examples, and I, I think we'll see a lot more. Plan B. На сайте rbk.ru.